Ron Sayer here with Zebra Technologies. In this video, we're going to cover configuring and testing of the EA3600 to be used in a network connect environment. The first thing we're going to do is go down, go ahead and download the software we need. Uh, go to zebra.com, select support and downloads. Scroll down to barcode scanners, go ahead and select that. Uh, then I've mentioned in the past that the EA3600 works with the DS3600 scanner. So what we're going to do is go ahead and grab in this case, we'll just grab the DS3600 ER. Scroll down to the developer's tool sections. It's this Ethernet software for Windows is what we're going to want to grab. This is going up a page. Uh, this is going to give us the software, firmware, and utilities that we need to upgrade and configure the EA3600, and also to leverage and use it with the Studio 5000 software. First thing you want to grab and download is the firmware. Next is the configuration utility, which is what we're going to use to upgrade the firmware and set the settings and tests to make sure the A3600 is working. Uh, developer files you can grab if you want. Uh, I would also grab the AOP files while you're here. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that the firmware and the add AOPs uh, do go hand in hand. So version 1.6 goes with release 6, release 5 goes with 1.5. If you get these out of sync, uh, your scanner might not work or could have uh, mixed results. So once we have those downloaded, one thing I would go out and do is the firmware downloads as a zip file. Go ahead and unzip that. We're going to want the hex image to load it into the utility. I already went ahead and downloaded and installed the utility. So what we're going to do is go open that up. Mine is located in Zebra Scanners, Industrial Ethernet Software, Industrial Ethernet Utility. So once we have this utility opened up, what we're going to do is go ahead and connect to our EA3600. Uh, what you're seeing here is that it's not finding anything. Uh, what that is is my EA3600, maybe I don't know what state it's in or whatever. So what I did is I went out and made sure that I updated my PC to be in the default network for the EA3600. The default for the EA3600 is 192.168.0.100. So what this is telling me is that my EA3600 is probably on a different IP address or different subnet, and that's why I can't find it. So let's go ahead and reboot or reset our EA3600. Uh, there's a little button on top that you can hold and press. It says press and hold it for 10 seconds. But generally, I just press and hold it until I see the network lights change on my EA3600. So I'm trying that now, and there it just reset. So then we go back. And we're going to keep hitting refresh. It's going to take a little bit. The E3600 needs to reboot. Plus, it also goes through a DHCP process to make sure that, it, hey, it can't pick up anything DHCP-wise. Once that finishes off, it will default uh, back to the 0 0.100 IP address, and then it should pop up on my PC. Oh, and there it is. So as you can see, the EA reset came back as 192.168.0.100, it's default. So I'd go ahead and select that, say connect to it, go ahead and close. Do you want to exist with log? I can just say yes at this time. So what's going to pop up here is going to pop up saying, hey, here's what I found. I found an EA3600, it's a Rockwell device. It's also a point-to-point -point device. Uh, it gives me the firmware versions associated to it and the IP address on it. So at this point, what I'm going to do is say, hey, I want to make sure that this is the latest firmware. In this case, it is the latest firmware, but I'll just go through how to do it. So I can just say update firmware. It's going to ask me which firmware do you want to load onto it. Uh, we can scroll down and say, here's the, the latest firmware we want to do. I'll go ahead and open it. What's going to come back is say, hey, download, skip, same as current version. So it's just verifying what I already knew is that I already had their latest version. So this is telling me my firmware is up to date. Uh, I have a scanner connected to it, but what is that scanner? So I can sit there and say, get the scanner status. What this is going to come back and tell me, hey, you have a scanner connected and it's corded. If I had one that was wireless or two that were connected, it would come back and say, hey, here's this number of scanners get connected and it's a wireless connectivity. Something else that you could do is get a battery status just to see what the status of the scanner is. Since I'm a corded scanner, uh, it's not going to give me any battery status back because uh, corded scanners don't have batteries, but it's just good to know. Something else I do at this point is scan a barcode. And what's coming back to me 
is information saying, hey, there's the data and the scanner's working and connecting. That's done via this barcode data below. This is what I do for customers that say, hey, the scanner's not working, it's not talking to my PLC. So what I generally have them do, come in here and do this, test it, and at this point I know, hey, the scanner is connected, the EA3600C in it, and it's talking over the network. So at this point, if I'm having connectivity issues, the issue is going to be with probably the PLC. So let's go ahead and change and make, update the settings that I need on this for my PLC. So it is an Ethernet IP protocol. Uh, you can either select the other problems. At this point, I'm going to want a static IP address for mine. The network settings I'm going to need for my PLC is a 3, 5 for the EA. Then we'll want to make sure the subnet is 3. Generally, I don't touch anything else in here. I say apply settings. What's going to happen here is it's going to go through, apply these settings, and disconnect from me. So at this point, I'm kind of back to where I was when I initially started. So I'm going to sit there and say refresh. It's going to take a little bit for the device to reboot, come back, but hey, I'm not going to be able to find it. Because why? Because all of a sudden now I've moved it over to the dot three subnet. So if we go in, say let's go and change our PC to those same settings so we can go see it. So I'm saying, hey, I want to be on the three network. Okay, okay, close. If I come back here and now I say refresh, all of a sudden now I have my EA3600 again. So you can see that it updated the right IP address, everything's connected, I'm fully working. If I wanted to, I can go back in and say connect to it, close this out, say yeah, we'll just update the thing. So I come back and scan barcode, and at this point say, okay, everything's fully connected. My E3600 is on the latest firmware. I have it set up correctly for what I need to connect to my Studio 5000 software, and I'm ready to go. Uh -huh. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us at zebra.com. Thanks.